In this lecture, we'll be using the Text Da Vinci 003 model, which is also part of the GP3 3.5 generation of models. Let's first interact with this model through the OpenAI Playground. In the Playground, make sure that the mode is complete. And additionally, from the list of models, select Text Da Vinci 003. What we see here, this big window, this is essentially the prompt. We provide any input that we need through the prompt. So this model has a very simple interface. Let's go ahead and write the first prompt. Let's say that we are writing a blog article about the ChatGPT API, and we are looking for a good title. We can write a prompt, which is something like, write a title for a blog article explaining how to use the ChatGPT API. Let's click on Submit. And what we'll see here in green is the response from the model. If we don't delete the response from the model and click on submit once again, we're gonna get this error here. So essentially it's telling us there's nothing else that the model can do right now. So if we want to run this again to get maybe a different idea for a block title, we have to remove that and click here once again on submit. Text completions can also be used for transforming text using for example, translations. Let's say, for example, we want to translate a text in German. So we can say, translate the following text in German. So let's say the text one we want to translate is, I've missed a train because I couldn't find the train station. And let's click on submit to see the translation. So this is a translation in German. Another form of translation is to ask the model to provide a summary of a longer text. So, for example, we can write a prompt which says something like, summarize the main idea from this text and explain it in simple terms. I'm going to go to Wikipedia and grab here a chunk of text from an article about OpenAI. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it here. Let's click on Submit. And what we'll see here in green is essentially the summary that we have requested, which is a transformation of this original text that we have provided. But we can also use text completions for generating new ideas. Let's say, for example, we're looking for a present. So how about a prompt like brainstorm some ideas for Christmas gifts for my friend who likes Star Wars. So let's click on submit and see what are the ideas that we have for gifts. And even if this model is not explicitly designed for conversations, we can even use it for conversations. So for example, we can provide some context and tell the AI your friendly and funny AI assistant named Mike. And then what we can do is start essentially a conversation. So we can write here, me, for example. I'm gonna write a message like, hello, how are you? I'm gonna write here, AI column. I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit. And then what we're getting back is, hi there, I'm doing great. How can I help you, right? So then I'm gonna write again, me. How many states are in the USA? As a question. So the conversation continues. Now let's go into Postman and try and figure out how we can submit a request through the API to the Text DaVinci 003 model. The first thing that we need to do is to go to the API documentation. And this model is available for looking here in the API reference under the completions endpoint. So to use the completions endpoint, we need to submit a post request against this endpoint. So let's go ahead, copy this address. And what we'll do is go to Postman and create this request from scratch. I'm gonna open up a new tab, select post so that we don't forget and paste this address here. Let's go ahead and save this inside the collection so that we have access to the API token. I'm going to name this request text completion. And after that, I'm going to also specify the name of the model. Let's go ahead and click on save. So if we're submitting this request as it is right now, we're going to get back an error telling us we haven't specified the model parameter. So obviously this is something that we need to do. So I'm going to go here to body I'm going to select raw. And instead of text, we have to select JSON because we are sending JSON. I'm going to start here a new object and between double quotes, I'm going to write model. And then the model that we want to use is 
TextDaVinci 003. If you're unsure if this model is available, go to Get Models, run this request, search here for TextDaVinci. There are multiple versions, but the one that we are interested in is this one. I'm going to go ahead and copy the name and take it here in the request. Let's go ahead and send this again. What we're going to get back here is already a completion, even though we have provided no input. So this is just some random thing that's coming back. It doesn't really matter so much. But actually what we want to do is to provide a prompt, right? We want to provide some instructions. So if we go to the API documentation, we're going to see here that the model is required, but the prompt itself is not. So this is a bit surprising, but this is the way this endpoint works. So let's go ahead and copy the name prompt and provide this as a prompt. So I'm going to add here a comma and between double quotes, I'm going to write prompt. And let's say we're going to start with a very simple prompt. I'm going to use the example with write a title for a blog article explaining how to use chat GPT API. So this is the prompt that I provided here. Let's go ahead and click on send. And we're going to see here inside choices. This is essentially the response that we're interested in. And the suggestion is a step-by-step -step guide to using the chat GPT. Okay, maybe not so good. Let's try it once again. And we're going to get here a different version that we can use. So this already looks much, much better.